Hi everyone, my name is Nitin and welcome back to PSD Science where I'll be going through magnets today. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, for the first segment of this video, I'm going to go through what is a magnet, okay? So what is a magnet? Okay, a magnet is an object that produces a magnetic force this allows the magnet to exert a pull force, which is basically the magnetic force of attraction, or a push force, a magnetic force of repulsion, on magnetic objects or materials only, okay? So let me just write only over here. Okay. And then you need to know these words, pull force and push force, or you could say, just the magnetic force of attraction itself or magnetic force of repulsion itself. Okay, now let's move on. So for the second segment of this video, I'm going to discuss two effects of magnetism. Okay, so for the two effects of magnetism. So first you need to know that light poles repel. So what are light poles? So light poles are basically the same pole. So, um, a south pole and south pole when you want uh, when you think they are going to attract they actually don't they actually push each other away so there's a push force okay and this leads to so we can see that the light poles of magnets are facing each other causing the magnets to repel so this is the explanation okay now let's go to the next effect that is unlike poles attract okay so south and north attract because they are unlike poles so there is actually a pole force okay so the explanation is that the unlike poles of the magnets are facing each other causing the magnets to attract okay now let's move on so for segment number three of this video there's I'm going to discuss two important magnets and their properties, okay? So, for the first magnet, I'm going to talk about the bar magnet, okay? The bar magnet's magnetism is the strongest at its poles. When the bar magnet is placed in a tray of pins, the greatest number of pins will be attracted to its poles. So, this is what it looks like. So, these are its poles. A and D are its so A could be North and D could be South Pole. And so there's four, there's four uh, pins each for the poles and there's uh, one pin for B and one pin for C, which is the middle of the pole, okay? Next important magnet is the ring magnet. So you need to know that the ring magnet's magnetism is same throughout. When the ring magnet is placed in a tree of pins, each part of the ring magnet will attract the same number of pins. So this is what a ring magnet looks like. And so you attracted three pins for each of its poles, okay? Uh, so, uh, so you attracted three pins for each of its uh, positions, okay? So it's evenly spread throughout. So let me just highlight the key words. So magnetism is same throughout. Magnetism is strongest at its poles, okay? So the ring magnet would attract the same number of pins and the greatest number of pins will be attracted to its poles okay now i hope you understand let's move on so for segment number four i'm going to talk about magnetic materials okay for magnetic materials first you need to know this acronym called sync so s i n C. S stands for steel, I stands for iron, N stands for nickel, and C stands for cobalt and not copper. Copper uh, is a common misconception. So let me just tell you a note. So you need to know that not all metals are magnetic materials, but all metals are conductors of electricity. Okay? Now let's move on. Okay. For segment number five of this video, I am going to go through identifying 
unknown objects okay how do we do that okay so number one the objects move towards each other how do we identify is this a magnetic material or a magnet okay so both are magnetic materials okay so we can see that both are magnetic materials at least one object is a magnet okay because without a magnet there's no attraction it will just stay a uh, constant so the magnet is the one exerting a pull force okay for scenario number two moved away from each other so at this point right we need to know that both of them are magnets okay and both of them are magnetic materials of course okay so both of them must be magnets in order to give a push force okay so this is very important so uh identifying how an object is a magnet uh how uh, objects are magnets right you just need to put a magnet beside another magnet so you can put this object beside this uh magnet so basically if they repel or attract you can see that it's a magnetic material but if it repels you can say that it is some it's a magnet if it attracts you can only state a conclusion that it is a magnetic material but we are not too sure whether it's a magnet but if it repels you can see that it is a magnet okay now let's move on to the third scenario so they did not move what can we conclude no conclusion can be made okay because we don't know whether if it's not a magnet but it's still a magnetic material or both of them are magnetic materials uh, there's a lot of complications so no conclusion can be made at this point okay now let's move on to the next segment of this video. Okay, for the last segment of this video, I'm going to be talking about creating magnets. Okay, so there's two methods to create magnets. One is by stroking. So let me talk about by stroking. So stroking method is basically when you have a bar magnet and you stroke it around the mag magnetic material in the same direction at least 20 to 30 times so that it will become a a what a temporary magnet okay okay so let's take a look at a question so the question is to describe the stroking method so how do we describe so we need to say this use the end of the magnet to stroke the magnetic material in one direction at least 30 times and you need to use the same pole for those 30 times okay so we need to know two methods to increase the magnetic strength of the magnetic object because they will ask this type of question in exams okay so using the same end of the magnet stroke the magnetic material more times in the same direction okay so we need to use the same end and you need to stroke it more times okay more times that's the keyword next use a magnet with a greatest strength a uh, greater magnetic strength okay you need to use a magnet with a greater magnetic strength okay so these are the two keywords okay so i hope you understand that now let's move on so this is the second method which is by electric method okay so the electric method is basically when you coil a wire around a magnetic object and you have a battery with it okay so basically what will, what will we observe when the copper bar is used I explain so uh, uh so what will we observe when the copper bar so we can see that this nail is made out of copper okay so this nail is made out of copper so the copper nail is used what happens so the steel paper clips will not move towards the copper bar okay the copper is not a magnetic material and cannot be magnetized to attract the clips and so will not attract the paper clips so you you can you know that this uh, nail could be made out of iron steel uh, nickel or cobalt right right 
Okay, but when it's copper, we need to know that. We need to know sink. S, I, N, C. Steel, iron, nickel, cobalt, and not copper. Okay, need to know that. So that is why the steel paper clips over here will not move towards the copper material, the copper bar. Because copper, it is a non-magnetic material and it cannot be magnetized to attract the clips. So you need a magnetic material to magnetize it, you know. So will not attract the paper clips, okay. And so you will not attract the paper clips. Okay, next, two methods to increase the magnetic strength of the magnetic object. So first, increase the number of coils around the magnetic material. So here, Perhaps there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. The six calls. Perhaps you can do 10, 15, 20, 25. The more the 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 more coils, the better. Okay. And then next, you can tell increase the number of batteries in the circuit. So it will give more energy. So it will give more electricity to pass through. And so it will make it a uh, more more of an electromagnet. So you call this magnet over here, this temporary magnet, a uh, electro magnet, okay? Very important word, you need to use this word in exams. So increase the number of batteries in the circuit. So you increase the magnetic strength as well, okay? So uh, with that, I do hope you have understood my explanation for uh, this video and I hope you understand magnets in a deeper level. Thank you and goodbye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!